What's up everybody, welcome back to the Hybrid Network and yet another DC Extended Universe topic video. Today we're going to be diving into some pretty recent stuff, as this past week it was confirmed that the Shazam movie is actually being split into two different projects. That's right, Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam is going to be highlighting his own solo film, which will coincide with that Shazam solo movie previously mentioned. And while everyone was caught up in all of that news, there was one aspect of this that people sort of gleamed over. Who's going to be the villain of Shazam now? Your first instinct would be to say Black Adam, however, this might actually not be the case. Thanks to a tweet by Boris Kitt, the author of the THR report that broke this scoop, apparently the planet Warner Brothers is for Black Adam to not appear in the first Shazam movie as a villain. Now, I have I haven't found any other mention of this on the vast interwebs, but we have to remember that THR were the ones that broke this scoop in the first place, so it doesn't exactly seem right to just discredit this idea outright. So the point of today is to explore a very intriguing question. Who could the villain in Shazam be? Without the wizard's first champion for Billy to battle against, who else could act as the sinister foil to the Earth's mightiest mortal? Strap yourselves in, cause I just might have a few ideas. It's important to consider that Shazam actually has a wider rogue gallery outside of Black Adam, composed of a wide array of colorful characters. But within this vast group of villains is one that I think manages to rival Black Adam for the title of Shazam's nemesis, being none other than Dr. Savannah. There's not a whole lot that Savannah asks for, what with being a mad scientist and all, and that's precisely the type of character you need for something lighthearted, at least I hope it's lighthearted, like a Shazam movie. There's no need for any sort of tragic backstory or any kind of deep, meaningful philosophy. Some people are just dicks, and Savannah fits that role perfectly. But having just Savannah would seem a little empty in my opinion, considering the audience is most likely looking for a villain that our title hero can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. In that case, why not a team up between Savannah and Mr. Adam? For those of you not in the know, Mr. Adam is a giant nuclear robot. And that's pretty much it. Of course, I'm underselling the guy, but the fact remains that he's a perfect villain to have Billy test his newfound might against, as there's not a whole lot of regrets the audience would have seeing a robot get torn apart. Not to mention, Mr. Adam as a character is a bit of a blank slate, so this is a perfect chance for some sort of reinvention. Maybe even making the character a sort of gentle giant, reminiscent of you know, the Iron Giant, only to have Savannah corrupt his mind and force him to battle Billy Batson. Of course, we've all seen that before though, haven't we? Giant robot, evil scientist, we've been there, done that a hundred times over. So why not introduce the audience to someone a little more unique? Someone like Mr. Mind. Not your average comic book villain, Mr. Mind is one of Shazam's deadliest foes, causing a lot of damage and mayhem for someone of such small stature. Not only that, but a character like this would firmly cement the type of world that Shazam exists in, where instead of big business moguls and killer clowns, our villain is just a small 3-inch worm from outer space. It creates a unique power balance between the hero and the villain of the story, and it'd be a great way to introduce the more outlandish aspects of the Captain Marvel lore and mythos to a wider audience. He could fill in the same role as Dr. Savannah, but if you want my honest opinion, he might be better suited for a future movie where he forms the Monster Society of Evil. You know, provided Shazam gets a sequel. But, in the case of being used for a first film, it might be interesting to see him actually manipulate Dr. Savannah into attacking the Rock of Eternity, and gaining access to the powers of the gods themselves, and he could even hint at a larger multiverse as he attempts to molt into his final form and wreak havoc on the reality as we know it. Although that might be a bit too ambitious. In the end, these are just my picks and ideas. The real question is, what do you guys think? Who do you think would be a good villain for Shazam if Black Adam isn't involved? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, like this video and be sure to subscribe to the Hybrid Network for more of our original content as it comes out. Thanks for listening guys, and we'll see you next time on the next DC Extended Universe Topic Video. Shazam!